Hey YouTube, it's Millie. I am going to be sharing two new bags with you today. And I'm going to be sharing how I broke one of my rules in order to buy these bags. If you watched the couple of videos I uploaded that were about shopping in my own closet, you'll know that I was working on trying to be more conscious of what I'm consuming, what I'm buying, and making an effort to shop the bags that I already have. While I was doing that series, I realized that I wanted to try to follow a rule of if I brought a new bag in, I would let a bag go. So selling, returning, exchanging, some kind of process for one in, one out. It was working pretty well, but a few things happened that led to me breaking that rule. So I'm gonna share that story with you guys today. I'm gonna kind of start from the beginning about how this happened and then share the bags with you. They are beautiful. How this initially started that I made the decision to break the rule because this was a conscious thing. This is something that I thought a lot about before I did. There was a bag that I had been interested in purchasing like over a year ago now, I think. And this bag was originally a coach retail bag, and then it was put on the coach outlet reserve section. I didn't own this style of bag, and I kept gravitating to it when I saw it on the outlet reserves page, and it sat there for a while. But I could not pull the trigger because I didn't know if I would like the style or not, just because I don't have any bags in that style. It ended up selling out and I never stopped thinking about that bag. Like always thought about it, always wanted to eventually get it. But when I would see it on resale sites, Mercari, Poshmark, eBay, it was always way higher than what it ended up selling for on the reserves page. But I ended up finding the bag on Mercari for almost the exact same price that it sold for at the outlet reserves. It was the bag I had been looking for at a really, really good price. And I sat on that for a while. Like I liked it on Mercari. I made sure I looked over all the pictures really well. I messaged the seller. And I sat probably for a week or two on the bag and no one ended up purchasing it. And once I really thought through the decisions for why I wanted to purchase it, knowing that this was a bag I could not stop thinking about. I decided to purchase it for all of those reasons because it was in a really good price range. It was a bag that I had been looking for and at that point knew that I really wanted. And it felt like something I could bring into my collection that would also be different than everything else that I have. Okay, this is her. This is the Coach Pillow Madison 18 in Key Lime. I'm gonna show you some details on the bag. So you can see it is the pillow quilting in the diamond. It also has a pillow hang tag. And this particular bag has these chain leather straps. And you can see a little bit of that Key Lime running through. And these straps are really nice because they can be a shoulder length so when the two are like this, but you can also pull one up and it becomes a crossbody bag. That to me is just super convenient in terms of different ways I can wear this bag when I'm out and like actively changing the way that I'm wearing it even while I'm out. And I am actually using this bag right now. So what I thought would be cool is to show you guys what actually fits in here because very similar to the Rogue 17, this bag looks really tiny. like next to my head, it's like about the same size as my head. But you can fit quite a bit in here, at least for me. And you guys know that there's stuff I have to carry on me because of having asthma and severe allergies. So let me show you. And that's kind of how you unlock this. So it is a turn clasp. You just turn it like that. And then you can see everything I have in there right now. So I have my inhaler, my hair pick, my EpiPen. <laughs> if you see me like looking over here, it's because I'm just looking at the screen. Uh, my lotion, hair tie, and the Aquaphor. If you look right there, you can see that there is like a card slot section. And I just put the cards that I'm using in there in my ID. To me, I think that fits a decent amount. There is a pocket on the back but I don't use this for anything because my phone is not gonna fit in there. 
but you could, I guess, put like a receipt or something. I also have this little Rexy charm on here, and this is not a Coach Rexy charm. This is actually from Etsy, and there's someone in the group who shared the link to this, so I will put this in the description below too. So after I ended up purchasing the Key Lime Pillow Madison, I noticed that there was another Pillow Madison 18 in a color that Coach Retail did not have. It was something that only Neiman Marcus had. And this is a color that really interested me. I had seen a couple other bags in this color, and after realizing how much I liked this style of bag, how convenient it is, how I can actually fit all of the stuff I need in there, I thought about purchasing this other bag as well. Now, what really led to me making this decision was that the bag ended up being on sale for over 50% off. The Pillow Madison 18 bag typically retails for $3.95 if it's at full retail price. So that being over 50% off is a really, really good deal. The Key Lime I technically got for like 85% off, but that's because I bought it secondhand. This bag, however, I know is going to be really hard to find in this color, especially because Coach itself is not going to carry this bag. It's only going to be at Neiman Marcus. I also sat on this decision for a while, um, longer than I sat for the Key Lime, because I've had the Key Lime for a little bit at this point. I know that I like the style. What I ended up doing as I was sitting on this potential decision, I actually went into the Coach store near me and had my essay help me look at all the bags they had in this color to see if it would be a color that I was actually interested in purchasing. I loved the color. <laughs> I almost wanted to buy it in other bag styles, but I knew that that was like an impulsive decision, not something that I really wanted to do. So when I saw that this bag was actually on sale at Neiman Marcus for over 50% off, I had seen the color in store. I had like really thought about this bag style. I decided to purchase it as well. And it came in the mail today. I am very excited to share this with you guys. This is the Pillow Madison 18 in light violet. And let me show you guys close up of this bag. It is the exact same style as the Key Lime bag, just a different color. It also has silver hardware like the Key Lime bag, and you can see that light violet color running through the strap here. It also has this clasped in order to open it. And it also has a pocket on the back. Again, not really useful. There's really not a whole lot that you can fit in there. And again, this is the exact same thing where it can be a shoulder bag, it can be a crossbody bag, so convenient. I do have this purple part of my sleeve here. So I think this could be fun to kind of like color coordinate with. I love doing that with my sleeve and bags. Um, and as you can tell, I tend to wear like really neutral colors with clothes. So it is kind of fun for me to use bags as a way to add color. Or And I'm planning to get some kind of charm to go with this one as well possibly the Rexy charm, but maybe in a silver color since the silver stands out a little bit more on this bag, in my opinion. Here are the two bags together. I wanted to show you guys these colors next to each other because I just think these colors are so vibrant and also different than anything else I own in my collection, but also a lot of Coach colors. This key lime color is just really, really bright and vibrant. I feel like this is great for spring and summer. And this color, honestly, I feel like you could use in any season, at least for me, I feel like I could even wear this in the winter. The silver with the purple, I feel like almost could give winter vibes. So I'm very excited for how much I will be able to use both of these bags. I feel like that was worth it to break the rule for these bags. They feel like an exception to me. They feel like something different that I'm bringing into my collection. Different colors, a different style, very versatile. That will probably be a determining factor for me moving forward. I don't think I'm going to be buying anything for a while. I don't want to put a date on it because I don't do well with that. I will rebel against it. <laughs> 
I'm really just going to put all of my energy and focus into the bags that I currently have. I think that will help me not jump on things that I'm not really interested in. As you can tell with these bags, I thought a lot about why I wanted to purchase them and I made myself wait before I purchased them. And I think that's key. Anything that I want to like impulsively buy the first time I see it is just not a good idea. I need to sit on that and really decide if it's something long term that I want to bring into my collection or if it's just, oh, that's pretty. Let me know what you guys think. I'm really curious how you work through decisions like this. What are some of those conditions or factors that play into why you decide to bring a new bag into your collection? I would love to hear if there are other things you guys consider. That's gonna be it for today, YouTube. Thank you for joining me. Um, I have never said this before, but if you like this video, like it. Um, If you want to see more content like this, if you want to do Shop My Closet with me, explore that together, feel free to subscribe. Bye YouTube, see you next time.